Good evening. It is hard to ignore the huge economic boost it promises for the area, but it's also hard to ignore the warnings we're hearing from some critics about the possible environmental damage that gas drilling could bring to the tier. Fox 40's Chris Whalen joins us now with a sampling of arguments from both sides. Chris? Larry, advocates say it could bring billions of dollars to a struggling local economy, but opponents say the possible windfall isn't worth the serious harm to environment and health that drilling could cause. Assemblywoman Donna Lupardo, long known as environmental advocate, weighed in on the topic today, and she says you can't ignore either argument. We can't possibly deprive the community and the state from this natural resource that we're sitting on. At the same time, we have to make sure we do what we can to protect the environment. Advocates of gas production say they can have their cake and eat it too, and are just as passionate about the environment as those who oppose drilling. Actually, we were the first environmentalists to get together with the DHC. We were the first ones to contact attorneys and say we want our environment protected. The DEC's updated regulations are supposed to prove that drilling in the southern tier can be safe, but those against tapping into the Marcellus Shale Formation say it does just the opposite. The uh, release of the uh, Department of Environmental Conservation rules shows all too clearly that they are completely unprepared to handle this. While Lupardo says she's not against drilling, she believes that the DEC's guidelines aren't strict enough, particularly when dealing with the water used for fracking or fracturing of rock which holds gas deposits. 20% of the water that goes into the well will be coming back out and will be need to dis be disposed of properly. And we really, at this point, don't have the adequate infrastructure in New York State to handle this, uh, this wastewater. For Flint, wastewater is the least of his worries. It's what is already underground that concerns him. The levels of radiation that have been read on very recent tests on the sh Marcellus Shale itself are many, many times higher than are safe in drinking water, or in air. But landowners like Furman think opponents of natural gas cultivation are being overly cautious. I uh, fish here, I hunt here, I uh, uh, play here. Uh, I'm not going to leave here. If I didn't think it could be done safely, I wouldn't want it. Lupardo and Flynn added that gas production could cause aesthetic damage to the area as well, saying the scenic beauty of our streams, rivers, and forests could suffer from drilling. Chris, despite the possible negative effects for a lot of people in this area, it's pretty hard to ignore the huge economic boost it would bring. Isn't that a tough argument and temptation to counter? As a matter of fact, Flynn says the economy would actually suffer. He says anyone who leases their land or lives within 300 feet of land leased for drilling cannot get an FHA mortgage. And also, since there are no DEC requirements for what conditions roads are left in, taxpayers might eventually have to pay for damage to any streets. So even if you don't allow drilling on your property, you could still suffer. Larry?